The CD30 uh, CAR T cell study was developed uh, by Barbara Savoldo when I was at Baylor College of Medicine. And this represented um, the first study uh, utilizing a chimeric antigen receptor or CAR uh, for Hodgkin's lymphoma. And um, really a, um, a sort of a novel breakthrough um, beyond the success of the CD19 CAR. Um, so far, the clinical trial is um, showing safety um, and it shows that uh, we can reliably expand um, uh, T cells specific that, and genetically modify them to, uh, uh, for the CD30 car for patients with not only Hodgkin's disease but also anaplastic large cell lymphoma. Um, we have shown in high-risk patients that the use um, of this uh, CAR T cells uh, will eradicate uh, low levels of uh, disease uh, in these patients and this has been done without the use of lymphodepletion. So where we want to go uh, with this CAR uh, T cell study now is to really combine with the lymphodepletion strategy and since uh, most of these patients who relapse go on to an autologous stem cell transplant. It's the ideal opportunity uh, to lymphodeplete with um, the chemo you would normally use for an autologous stem cell transplant, um, perform the transplant and then uh, prevent relapse early uh, by administering these autologous uh, CD30 CAR T cells. Um, and so if successful, this will really show how um, uh, the CAR technology can really be um, uh, moving beyond the CD19 cars. One of the big challenges uh, were that activated T cells actually express CD30. So we wanted to make sure that um, if you um, transduce these uh, cells with a chimeric antigen receptor that was expressing uh, anti-CD30, that you weren't going to kill um, the T cell product. And uh, Barbara Svoldo showed very elegantly both in the um, uh, in vitro and then also in the mice that uh, you could effectively expand these uh, T cells and genetically modify them and then uh, when you gave them to patients uh, you would see persistence of the gene modified T cells in the patients so suggesting that they're not killing each other often that they're really just killing uh, the tumor cells expressing CD30.